I don't think anything is inherently good or bad. I think that we have a shit ton of options in life to play around with. Hey you beautiful people, my name is Brittany and today I'm going to be answering the question what are my thoughts on smoking and drinking? Surprisingly, I've gotten this question a lot or different questions around this. Do I smoke marijuana? What are my thoughts on it? Do I drink alcohol? How often do I drink alcohol? All that stuff. So I'm gonna answer those specific questions and give my general thoughts on the topics here. And I'd like to say by thanks for your interest in my opinion on these things. I really love to share about all things lifestyle related, specifically healthy lifestyle related on this channel and just whatever inspires me. And this morning I woke up feeling like, oh, it sounds really fun to talk about that stuff today. If you've been watching me for a while on this channel or either of my channels, you probably know that I really love sharing from my experience and feeling out what feels right for me, encouraging others to feel out what feels right for them. I think that we are all the experts on ourselves and only we can be those experts on ourselves and i don't feel like there's a universal truth for what is right for everybody or even what is right for one person at any given time i think it's always changing always in motion so for me it's been quite a long time since i've drank any alcohol or smoked anything um yeah, I've been on, I mean, just a, a journey. I think we all are on journeys into getting to know ourselves better in one way or another. And I've been on that journey for some time now. And I was trying to think back to the last time that I had any alcohol or smoked marijuana and I never smoked cigarettes. So, and gosh, it might, I, I don't know, maybe like seven years or something, maybe more. I something like that and that's just been because it hasn't felt like something that I feel inspired to do I don't think of it as like I don't drink I don't smoke you know I don't eat this thing I don't eat that thing it's more like oh today I'm choosing to do handstands and record a video and work on my website and get out in the sun and I think about it more as what I'm choosing to do and those are the things that fill up and become my life and I just love choosing things that feel really good to enhance my life and I think that those things look different for everybody so that sort of I guess is a good way for me to launch into my thoughts about these topics and I'm saying these topics as if it's as if they can be grouped together and in some broad sense, I think they really can. And in another, I want to acknowledge that, you know, how smoking marijuana might feel for one person could be really differently than how they feel about drinking alcohol. And I don't want to group anything together in a way that feels like this. We're talking about drinking and drugs and it's like a topic. I think that's my biggest feeling is that oftentimes I think things can be grouped together to be these like loaded topics, you know? We've heard of these topics or we felt them or we felt the vibe of them, how it can feel when somebody's talking about politics or the environment or veganism or drugs and alcohol, terrorism, or even like, you know, things that maybe have a more positive vibe, like for some people, self-love, or enlightenment and it's interesting how topics or labels things like this can become pointer signs and I really think that they all have different significance for us and the words have different significance one thing that I've loved in my life is sort of trying the best I can to remove all labels from my life and how I define myself especially ones that feel like they don't serve me but in general I really love having an open mind about everything and trying on new viewpoints and not feeling like I'm stuck in one way of viewing things or framing things in my mind. I never really had 
a huge relationship with drugs or drinking or smoking marijuana or anything like that. I played around with them when I was younger and it just never became something that I really attached to. And I think that that's different. Things that we attach to in different ways and use as tools are really different. And for me, some of the things I used were more like food. Food has been, I've had more of an interesting journey with food where I'm learning like, okay, maybe I'm attaching to this in a way that doesn't feel like it's serving me as much or how can I use this to my advantage? I like to not think about things as like this is a good thing and this is a bad thing and I don't think it's really possible to categorize anything like that because even if you take something like a really healthy food I love melon I I eat a lot of melon if you follow me on Instagram you're probably seeing me eating a lot of watermelon and cantaloupe recently so in one one vein I could say like this is really cantaloupe and watermelon it's great like it's just great it's 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 an exclusively great thing but I don't feel that way because I know that at times I'm not hungry and so it's not the time for me to eat cantaloupe or sometimes I need something else to put in my body or sometimes my body just doesn't need food at that time. It needs my love or rest or something else. I don't think anything is inherently good or bad. I think that we have a shit ton of options in life to play around with. And I love playing around with healthy living. So I really care about what I put into my body. And I just find that I'm not attracted to things that feel like they don't serve me or they don't help me, propel me more in the direction of the healthful living that I'm looking for. But that doesn't mean that I live an exclusively healthy lifestyle. There are days where I feel like I'm taking in stress or I'm allowing myself to feel stressed. There are days where I'm in Los Angeles and breathing in the air and I know that it's not the healthiest air. There's all different variations of intentional living and I think an important part about that is also not, not, not caring to the point of being so rigid about something that it doesn't allow me to be open-minded and loving. Because at the root of all of this, I feel like my real journey is in being in a love, a love-filled space all the time for myself and for everybody around me. Because when I'm in that place of love, then what I feel and what I emit is loving and it's positive and I feel like it really contributes to the vibe that I want to feel in the world and that I, I feel like that's how I can change the world. To kind of dial it back to my thoughts on drugs and alcohol, I feel like they can be valuable tools for some people. I think that regardless of how they're feeling for somebody in their life, that they, they are showing up for a reason. Maybe somebody is drinking because they feel like they want to be more relaxed or they feel like hey you know what you've had a long day you deserve it i want to sit down with a glass of wine that's a tradition that feels good for me maybe maybe that's what they're thinking i know for me in my like short period of time where i was drinking more alcohol first i was curious about it and it felt like a playful way to play around with being more adult and then it felt like I was able to open up and be more of myself and sort of let go a little more. And the same thing with marijuana, I was able to relax more. And once I found that I could access those things, those states of being without those tools, I found I just wasn't that interested in them anymore. And I think that one of the reasons I feel like just removing a habit doesn't work is because there was a reason for that. It's not bad that we're doing something. It's us trying to take care of ourselves in one way or another. I notice how much I don't feel attracted to words like isms, you know, like alcoholism, because what is that? I mean, I don't feel like, I don't feel like it's helpful for me to think that I could be in a box. Like this is some sort of a thing 
that is not good and therefore I'm not good because I'm doing it think it could be for me I can see that as okay so you have areas of self-care that you want to take care of and you're using this tool right now to care for yourself in that way and I don't think for me the goal isn't even to remove all unhealthy habits from my life the goal is to get to know myself better and to have a freaking blast doing it I really want to enjoy my life and I want to encourage others to do that as well and if there are habits in our lives or things that we're doing or tools that we're using that don't feel good that's really okay that's just normal that's us learning more about ourselves and the direction we want to be moving in and then we get to decide what to do with that data and say okay maybe I do want to remove this from my life or maybe I just want to slowly decrease how much I'm doing this or maybe doing this feels really good for me you get to decide we get to decide and I know that for me removing the shame or like feeling that I'm bad or doing something wrong around that is so helpful and instead allowing myself to feel love and understanding like you know what that really makes sense that you want to have that drink or smoke right now or I want to eat that food right now because I had a rough day there were, I was just going through a lot and now I really want to take care of myself and there are lots of ways that I can choose to do it and it makes sense that a part of me wants to use this tool. We just really deserve that. I, I feel like we're always doing the best we can with the knowledge that we have, with the tools that we have. And we always have the opportunity to change our lives, 100%. And we deserve that. I think you all deserve that. And so, really thank you for this opportunity to share this message i didn't have anything planned when i sat down in front of the camera i think i went off a little bit on a tangent there but i hope i brought it back enough to answer that question in a succinct way that was interesting i feel super passionate about this i feel really passionate about guiding people to find out more about themselves and to help guide them in the direction that they want to be going and if you want to do more of that with me you can check out my program it's called simplify you can use this discount code. Whatever you do, just really want you to know that I feel like you deserve the life that you want to be living. You deserve to be investing in yourself. And I really think you can have all of that. So much love to you guys. Mwah.